Oh. It oh. means rocket propelled. Okay. In Texas, it is illegal for law enforcement to use these because of how effective they are. They do nasty things, but not the way you see it in the movies, because that's always like this and striking. And against somebody carrying a knife or anything else, me holding these like this is a bad thing because you know they can survive one shot. You've seen the videos. Mm -hmm. Which means if she's really trying to kill me, she, she's coming in with the knife. And while I go, Wah! she's going to try to get under the swing, and the knife's going to go under my ribs. And then it's better luck in your next life. These are illegal because they weren't used like this as much as you think. They were used like this. See, so hands out in front just a little bit. When that comes in, you're going here. And a quick wrap. Now, I know this is a Japanese anime con, but I would like to introduce you to a French term. It's called tourniquet. Because this is wrapped around her forearm. There are two bones that run down the forearm, the radius and the ulna, and they are not intended to meet in the middle. But by virtue of a short chain with two handles on it, you can improve on nature's design with just a little bit of force. Just a little bit of force. I'm doing that because she's still recording. <laughs> these are illegal in Texas for law enforcement because of the lawsuits, because these are horrific close and medium range combat weapons for breaking things and dislocating arms, elbows, shoulders. Um, and for those of you that do, well, I do Taekwondo and we do kicks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and the first kick you learn is the front kick, the front snap kick, where it comes out and up, and it's just really cool. And if you do um, mixed martial arts, one of the things that you learn to do against a high front kick, I don't care, whichever one makes you happy. It'd be easier for them to see if we did right, but you learn to shelf those kicks that are coming in high, like towards the face. You shift just a little bit and catch it. And since I'm ridiculously tall and I didn't warn her ahead of time we were going to do this, I'm going to cheat a lot and get lower. <laughs> but when that kick comes in, what you learn is this. You catch it, and then these hands come down right behind the knee, and this should be on the shoulder, but I didn't want to let her get that close to my face. <laughs> So from right here, what you're doing is you're catching it and bringing your hands down behind the knee and wrenching downwards while lifting up with your shoulder. Oh. So, front snap kick, kick comes in. You use this just a little bit under the heel to pass the kick a little bit higher than they wanted it to go. Up. Over, down. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Better luck in your next life. We'll sign your wheelchair. <laughs> um, these are horrific for that style of combat and self-defense because you can also still use them for other things. When they're striking, you can just... <laughs> when that strike comes in, if you can't wrap it, you can pass it and bring this up. And now you're striking them in the larynx with a stick and bring the other one to the back of the head. And if they're really moving fast, have you seen a clothesline before? Have you seen Steven Seagal movies where a guy comes in and he's doing a move called Irimanage. It means entering throw. Looks like a clothesline, but really what you're doing is you're intercepting their center. So when they're coming forwards, you're actually stopping them so their torso and their momentum keeps going and you keep their head and shoulders back so they smash their head on the back of the concrete underneath this um, office carpet. This is really effective with one of these. Knife comes in, you pass it, ramp right up. And now I'm catapulting her backwards on the back of her head by virtue of a chain wrapped around her throat and I have two convenient carrying handles. <laughs> this is awesome. The downside to the nunchaku was limited reach, because obviously, um, from right here, I can almost reach your knee um, just with my hand. But no matter how fast I swing this, I still miss. Not by a lot. 
Aren't you glad I actually do this for a living and no spacing or I'm not guessing? I'm glad too, because your knee would heal, but I'd be out of a job. And that's an inconvenience. Rocky would not have been happy. Um, these didn't have very good reach. The other thing is, did I mention before, these are sticks? Yeah, and if she has a sword and I'm going, whoa, all she has to do is reach out and go, whack, and cut the one stick off. And then I'm left with one stick in this little rope going, <laughs> not real effective for self-defense. Yes, sir. You had mentioned that it's not allowed for law enforcement Yes. As in they already Yes, and if you have, if we have anybody that wa that goes through those self-defense catalog books that have the pepper spray and the zappers, one of the things you'll see is that the baton is a very popular weapon for security and for and for police officers. They have a baton that's called a converted chuck. It is a metal baton that's about this long that screws together in the middle, so you can unscrew it. And there's a short chain there. For a time, 70s and 80s, those were really popular. Um, but after the started breaking things, um, those were made illegal. And so what they changed them to is now they have the baton, the flex, they call it a flexible baton or extendable, where it collapses on itself. So it's a shorter version. It's only about this long. But when you flick your wrist, it'll basically go two and a half times its length. So that's legal because it doesn't give you the same um, advantages for breaking yeah, things. Yeah. Uh, so when you see the nuntaku, please remember, it's a little bit different than the way Michelangelo uses them. And it's ridiculously cool that he's coordinated enough to use two at the same time. Wah, fellow chucker, eh? Um, the downside is it means you can't use them really effectively the way they were made to, but they would never show that in a Ninja Turtles cartoon. <laughs> Sentry removal by the Ninja Turtles. We'd be yes. <laughs> I like. All right, fine. We'll go better. Remember farm tools for self-defense. <laughs>